What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I turn focus in on uh, Connor McDavid and uh, so much his play on the ice, but also how it correlates to his off the ice hype. And, um, you know, because he's as hyped as Crosby was, and I think even more so because social media in the last 10 years, uh, 9 or 10 years, has taken substantial steps forward. And you're seeing, you know, what he can do. Um, you know, firsthand on YouTube that wasn't there when Crosby was in juniors. Um, so that that's something to keep an eye on. And, you know, you know how good he is. Uh, you know, you can read tweets from scouts at the game or, you know, writers at games every night. And, you know, just, you know, what he did um, in addition to the score sheet, which is it's just cool. And, uh, you know, it's, he's kind of got that Bryce Harper, LeBron James, uh, you know, talking about outside of the game of hockey where, you know, they're hyped from, you know, they're preteens. And uh, you look at what McDavid's doing on the ice. You know, last year as a rookie, I was one of the top um, underage or top rookie scorers. Uh, obviously, he's an exceptional player. And this year, he uh, he's really lighting the circuit up. He's fifth in the OHL in scoring. Uh, he's got 34 points through 19 games. He's got two teammates that are the top two goal scorers, or two of the top goal scorers, I should say, in the uh, in the OHL. And uh, Connor Brown and uh, Dan Fox. And, uh, you know, they're both three years old than he is, and uh, you know, he's just elevating the play, or the play of the guys around him. You know, Andre Burakovsky, the Capitals prospects, off to a great start. Um, you know, the, this once, you know, bottomed-up franchise was really the laughing stock of the OHL. I mean, Taylor Hall said no to him. They drafted Ryan O'Reilly, um, and, you know, he, he's elevating them. You know, uh, Dylan Strom, Ryan's younger brother, is having a solid year in the OHL. He's got 10 points through 20 games. Doesn't have as much ice time as you know, figure. He'll be fine. I like his game a lot. I'll do a piece on him later on. Oscar Dansk, the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets prospect, the goalie, having a you know really solid year. 231 goals against, 914 save percentage. You know, McDavid has that effect where everyone can buy in to his system and play well. You know, he facilitates for guys around him. Maybe they're not even on the same line, but you know, just his presence out there um, you know, makes it easier for guys around him to play at high levels, and you're really seeing guys buy in, and that's that's huge. And um, he's like I said, he's born to be a franchise player in the National Hockey League. You know, you look at the hype Tavares got, and you know Crosby and all those guys, and they've you know they've lived up to it. I mean, Tavares is you know the face of the New York Islanders. He's really helped to turn them to relevancy, and Crosby's the face of, the face of hockey worldwide. Um, you know, same thing goes for Steven Stamkos. I know. Well, the funny thing, Stamkos didn't get as much hype as Crosby and Tavares did. You make the argument. Well, yeah, I think he's better than Tavares. I mean, right now he's on one leg, so it's kind of a tough argument to make. But you know, McDavid really does have that generational talent. I mean, it went from you know Gretzky to uh, Bobby Orr to Gretzky to Lemieux to Crosby, and then um, you know make the argument kind of Tavares in there as well. Not to as high a level, but you know definitely there. And now this kid, and um, you know he could be. You know, I don't like comparing them to. It's almost impossible because you don't compare guys to Wayne Gretzky or, or Mario Lee or Bobby Orr. It just it doesn't work that way. I know Orr's a defenseman. I know some cynic was going to make a comment on that, but you know, you just don't compare guys like to guys like that. You know, I think he's going to play his own game, and uh, you know, I can't wait to see in two years where he ends up. I mean, I see him on the Canadian World Junior Team this year, and I see him the next two, you know, the next year as well. Obviously, um, unless they change the NHL draft rule to 17. But, I mean, you look at this draft, it's not as strong, but uh, he's going to be the face of the next draft, and it's going to be amazing to see, um, you know, what his future holds in hockey. And, you know, he's a, he's really, he's born with the it factor. You know, Skip Bayless needs to call him the clutch gene. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's big time. You're going to be hearing about him for the next decade and a half, and I can't wait to see what amazing things this tremendous young hockey player does. Anyway, that's all this episode of The Power Play with CJ, where Connor McDavid ranks in terms of hype. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.